Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to a new tutorial. And this is about creating a rain style effect with a particle system in 2D. And here's my example and we'll go over how to create it, how to do it for sorting, to be able to bring it in front of other sprites which you have and be able to talk about the simple setup today. So be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 120 different scripts and assets you can't find anywhere else. So just as a heads up, when you're creating a particle system or you might have multiple versions of sprites, as you can see that I have foreground here, I have mid ground, and things like that. And the sprites are all made up using sorting layers. So if we click on a sprite, you'll see that this is in order in the layout of 22. Now, if we create a particle system, you can see at the very bottom in the renderer, you can see that the sorting layer and the layer in the order is currently 15. So it's in front of my mid ground. If I pull the sorting layer up, you can see that it becomes in front of the layer, depending on how you've sorted your layers. You can also change this if you're using the Z axis for your 2D game. If all your sprites are on a zero Z axis and you're not using sorting layers, you can just put this at say positive one and that will be absolutely fine. So we're going to get started creating our particle effects. So what you can do in, is right click your hierarchy, choose effects, choose particle system, and we can just name this to rain. We're going to right click at the top of the transform and just click reset. Now we've reset our particle system. I'm just going to drag the move tool and just move it around in the scene. We're going to set the start speed to zero because we just want the particles not to move when they start. We're going to just set the start size and we're going to keep that around just one to start with. Then we're going to affect the velocity of a lifetime because we want it to fall. And then we can click the drop down on that and have it between two constants. So in this case, we want to be a negative direction. So we could do minus 15 and minus 20 in the Y and it falls down just so we get a slight variation in how quickly it falls. But then what we'll do now is we'll set the shape and we're going to set that to box. And once we've set it to box, we want to scale the X axis out so it covers our game screen, depending on what size your actual resolution is at the time. It might be around 25 in my case on the X and you can see that it scales out along the X axis. We can go to size over lifetime this time and we can click separate axes in this point, click the drop down and do random between two constants. And then we're going to set the X so we can scale how long and how wide they should be. So we'll have the X is 0.01 and 0.03. So that'll make them fairly thin. On the Y axis, we'll have between 0.2 and 0.4 to make sure that they're much shorter. We can go to the emission property and just set the emission up to say something like 200. And then what we can do is we can just drag them up on the Y axis just make sure that they're actually above our scene here. You can have pre-warm enabled at the top of the settings just so that they fall to begin with. As you can see, the particles move really far down. We want to decrease the start life so they don't fall below our playable area. We could maybe set that to two based on what we have here. Just depends on what you would like it to be. And then if we want to, you can right click on your project panel go create and just choose a material. Once you've created a brand new material, you can choose the set it to particles and just standard unlit. We're just gonna set this to a fade blending mode and you can just give this a particular color and just take the alpha down maybe to halfway. And then if you select back on your rain particle system and you might just want to add in your material there and you can see that it's been added and you can see it more clearly. And of course you can select on the emission and you could always up the emission if you want more particles to emit from the actual place that they will be. And remember, if you go to the rendering at the bottom, you can set the sorting layer and you can bring that ahead of the other objects or the other sprites that you may have or take it behind if you're trying to occlude it with some of the actual objects that you may have. So I hope this helped you out. Do let me know what you think, any tips to share with the community. It's always great to hear them. Come and join me on Discord if you want to chat. Come and support me on Patreon to get access to over 120 different scripts and assets you can't find anywhere else, including I'll put up all of this content that you've seen today. Do come and check out my great assets on the Unity store, along with bonus discounts on my website. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.